Excuse me, sir. Captain Kabuko is here to see you. Good, good. Send him in. Oh, and uh, find Sergeant Rosenthal. Get him in here, too. Ah, oh, good. Captain Kabuko. Major Bryce, good to meet you. Major Bryce, sir. Trust your ride down from command wasn't too tough? No, sir. It was uh, fairly uneventful. I see uh, you joined the Army back in 39. You were stationed in the Philippines where you were helping them uh, organize a new Filipino military. That's correct, yes sir. Um, my superiors felt it would be best for me to participate in the resistance on the island. Good, good. Well, that's exactly the kind of experience we're looking for here. You've been transferred to the 10th Mountain Division and you'll be under my command from now on. Oh, um, yes sir. But I thought it required special training to be in the 10th Mountain. And I'm not going to lie to you, soldier. We are an elite branch of the infantry. And the men here do go through a much more rigorous training than your average enlisted man. Even so, I'm sure you've had all the training these men have had, if not more. And I have complete confidence in your capabilities, Captain. Oh, Sergeant Rosenthal, good. Like you to meet Captain Kabuko. Nice to meet you, Sergeant. Same to you, Captain. Captain just transferred into our division, and I'm placing him in charge of your unit. In charge of the squad, sir. Did you not hear me, Sergeant? Well, yes, I thought we were being transferred into another unit. That was the original plan, but now that we have Captain Kabuko, that won't be necessary. And I knew you'd be pleased to hear that your unit wouldn't be disbanded. So your unit stays together now with Captain Kabuko in charge. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Good. Now that we got all that worked out, I've got your first mission ready to go. But before we get into that, why don't you get yourself situated here? You'll need to see about supplies. And Sergeant, why don't you introduce the captain to his new men? Yes, sir. Okay, Captain, be back here at 1800 hours. We'll go over the details of your mission. You're both dismissed. So the MPs get there, they're breaking up the fight. So me and Forbes decide we should probably get the hell out of there. By way of second story window, though. Good lord, Mickey. <laughs> You're thick. So we make about a block away down the street before we can stop by the sergeant. And he's like, aren't you the boys from Roger's Pub? Naturally, we say, sir, no, sir. But he sees that we're drunk. And he sees that Forbes is limping. So he asks Forbes, why are you limping, son? Get this, Forbes said some kraut sniper was aiming to shoot off his balls, only missed and got his leg. <laughs> so drunk I just started laughing. God damn it, Mickey, that must be the hundredth time I've heard you tell that story. Come on, Rosie, he's also the good part. Oh, in a minute. First, I have an announcement to make. It seems dear old Major Bryce has decided not to transfer us into Captain Howard's unit. Instead, we've been given a new unit leader. New unit leader in the company? Yep. It isn't Lieutenant Kaminsky, is it? I thought he shot in his last assignment. He did get shot. He died two days ago. That only leaves Lieutenant Gordon. There's no way in hell they give him a command. Would you just let me finish? Some new guy. Some Jap captain named Kabanko or something. What? A Jap captain? Well, hell, he looks Japanese anyway. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. The only thing I know is he's to be our new unit leader. So, where is this new Jap captain? Stop to talk to some lieutenant. Here he comes. Hello, gentlemen. Boys? This is Captain Kabanko. My name's Captain Kabuko. I've just been transferred to your division, and I will be your new unit leader. Please introduce me, Sergeant. This kid here is Private Carl Gutman. He speaks fluent German, so he's our translator and radio operator. It's right, Mish. You can't swim in Hauptmann. It's enough, Gutman. Over here we have Michael McKay. Just call me Mickey, sir. He's not the brightest guy in Europe but he knows his way around any weapon you can get your hands on, American or German, so he's a handy guy to bring along. Oh, I love it when you compliment me like that, Sarge. And finally, we have Dr. Jordan Briggs. Sir? You can probably guess what his job is. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. Would you like some soup, Captain? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm sorry, guys, but I really need to go. I have some things I need to do. I'll see you men later tonight. I think you're right, Rosie. He is Japanese. Oh, he isn't. He's Filipino. How do you guess that, Guts? It's an old Filipino kid called Kabuko. Well, Filipino, Japanese, I don't care. They're all the same. Damn right. I had a cousin in the Marines who was killed in the Pacific. He could have been killed by a relative of Kabanko, for all I know. From what I know, Mickey, you don't know all that much. Why don't you just shut up, man? It doesn't matter if he's Filipino or not. 
He's transferred in from another division. So all I care is he knows enough not to get us killed. He's got a good point. Oh, that's bull. I don't trust any Asian with my life. Who ever heard of an Asian officer in the U.S. Army anyway? The fact that he could be completely inept as a small unit leader doesn't bother you. Well, yeah, that bothers me. Yeah, it bothers me too. And so does my stomach. Damn, I'm starving. Yeah, is that soup done yet? Yeah, it's done. Come on, first come, first serve. Now, intelligence believes that there's a small German outpost somewhere in this vicinity, but none of our low-level reconnaissance flights have located anything. Even so, we still believe there's something out there, and you and your men are going to find out for sure. We just need you to find that base, radio in its coordinates, and then get your asses out of there. It's that simple. What do we do once we've radioed in its location? That's a good question. Elements of the 35th Infantry Division have been breaking through the German defenses just east of Montvert, so you'll be able to hook up with them. What about resistance? How many Germans are still in the air? Resistance should be minimal. Most of the enemy positions are scattered about. Now they're only concentrated in the larger villages. So you shouldn't have any trouble making your way through unnoticed. As far as the coordinates now, I guess we're looking at 66 northwest degrees longitude and about 78 degrees latitude. Well, that's gonna put... Nevada originally. My dad found some work out near Seattle when I was 10. That's when I moved out there. Huh. Never been to Seattle. Actually, I've never been out of California until the war. Where'd you live in California? This town's called Redwood City. A little south of San Francisco. Look at the way Guts is being all friendly with him. Yeah, I noticed. I don't even talk that much to my own mother. It's getting on my nerves. Hey, Guts! Come here a second. He keeps patronizing with the enemy. What are you talking about? You know what he's talking about. Do you mean talking with the captain? I was only being friendly. Yeah, well, stop. Who knows what kind of mischief he's up to? Shut up, Mickey. Look, the point is, Guts, you're making him feel welcome. In this squad, people like him aren't welcome. All right, guys. This looks like a good spot. Let's rest here for a few minutes. Are we, Captain? That road we crossed just a ways back? Head south towards St. Jean de Garde. So we're about five miles northwest of there. How much further are we going today? We should make another ten miles before it gets too dark. If we can get just south of Pont de Mauvert, we shouldn't be too far from our objective. We should find it by tomorrow morning. We should, should we? Yes, Sergeant. We should. May I have your permission to speak freely? Go ahead. Well, Captain, where did you become an expert at map reading? I never said I was an expert at map reading. <laughs> well, I don't mean to sound rude, but you're not from the 10th Mountain. You haven't had the same training we have. People like you just... Oh, like me? New to the division. We can't be confident of your capabilities. Sergeant, you're gonna have to take my word for it. I've been in the field using a map and compass since 41. I know exactly where we are. 
I know exactly what we need to do to get where we need to be. So just trust me. See, we're fighting back in 41? Yeah. North Africa? No. The Philippines. Well, what were you doing there? I thought the Japanese had control of the Philippines until just after D-Day. I joined the Filipino Resistance, a group called the Legionnaires. What did you do in the Resistance? Exactly what I'm doing now. That's where we're supposed to be. You know, Mickey, make yourself useful. Secure the perimeter. This has got to be the place. Looks like somebody else got to it first. So what do we do now, Captain? Radio into headquarters. Tell them we found a deserted base at coordinates 61 north, 32 northeast. We're gonna search this area to see if there's anything else around. you're ready, move out of the woods and tell them to put their hands up, all right? Yeah, we know what to do. Sergeant, you and I will stay on this side of the hill in a flanking position. We'll give them cover in case anything goes wrong. Got it. Leave the radio here. Let's get in and out very quickly. And remember, 
I want at least one of them alive. Where shall I be? You stay here with the radio, and don't move forward until everything's clear, okay? Okay. Moving out. Go help, Briggs. Come on, you guys. Let's go see if anyone's alive before the whole Wehrmacht gets here. Check the officer. <laughs> this one's still alive. Americana. Hey, buddy, 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 you okay? Oh, Americana. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's German. Danke. Let's ask him if he's all right. Alles in Ordnung. Alles klar. Yeah, he says he's all right. Good. Tell him he's coming with us. Folgen Sie uns. What happened? Let's go. They're all dead, Briggs. Let's go. This looks like a good spot. Let's take a few minutes here. Gutman, I'm gonna need you to ask your friend here a few questions. First of all, what's his name? Wie heißen Sie? 
Solomon. Solomon. How many German troops are still in the area? Uh, wie viele deutsche Truppen befinden sich im Gebiet? Es waren hier ungefähr 500 Soldaten bis vor ein paar Tagen. Sie sind aber in einer westlichen Richtung weggezogen, äh, nachdem der Luftangriff äh, das Hauptquartier zerstört hatte. He said there were about 500 soldiers here a few days ago, but they left heading west after an air raid destroyed their headquarters. Uh, es gibt aber noch eine SS Company im nächsten Dorf. But there's still a company of SS in the village near here. Is the German headquarters just west of here? Um, war das deutsche Hauptquartier westlich von hier? Ja, dort wo sie mich gefunden haben. Yeah, right next to where we picked them up. That must have been the spot after all. So much for failed reconnaissance flights. Bastard Bryce. Sending us all the way down here when the damn objective's been destroyed already. Hey, hold on a second. What are you guys talking about? He's German. He's a German. We already trusted him. He's a Nazi. If he were a Nazi, then why were the SS gonna kill him? Honestly, McKay, you're dumber than a bucket of you shit. You don't stop running your mouth, I'm gonna bust your jaw. You stop you it! We don't have time for this, damn it. Calm down, Mickey. Ask him why the Germans are going to kill him. Warum wollten die Deutschen sich umbringen? Weil ich Jude bin. Well, well because he's a Jew. What the hell are you talking about, Gubman? That's what he said. They're going to kill him because he's Jewish. And what about the other man they killed? Warum haben Sie den anderen Mann getötet? Er hat mich versteckt, als die Soldaten das Gebiet betreten haben. He, he hit him when the Germans moved into the area. This is great. We find some Jewish crowd up in the mountains and all of a sudden we're best friends. Ask him what he's doing in France. Was machen Sie hier in diesem Teil Frankreich? Ich bin hier vor sechs Jahren hergezogen, um mit einem Verwandten zu leben. Ja, he moved here about six years ago to live with a relative. Aber die SS hat mich vor ungefähr einer Woche entdeckt. The SS picked him up about a week ago. Die deutschen Soldaten verließen das Gebiet und sie bringen ihren Gefangenen mit ihnen nicht. The Germans are leaving the area. They're not taking their prisoners with them. So they were just gonna kill him. Captain? What? Well, it seems our mission now is to find the 35th Infantry, right? Yeah. Since he says he's from around here, maybe he knows where they are. Ask him. Wissen Sie, wo sich die amerikanische Infanterie befindet? Ja. It's been 30 minutes, Sergeant. I thought Mickey had the next watch. I think I'm gonna let him sleep a little while longer. I'm hoping we're gonna move out in about an hour. Why don't you get some sleep? book about, Captain? It's a journal. I started writing it back in the Philippines. I thought it would make a good family heirloom someday, I guess. You married? <sighs> she died. Sorry, Captain. It's none of my business. No, no, it's all right. 
She was Filipina. I married her there on the island. A year later, we had a boy. Just before the Japanese invaded, I, I talked her into sending our son to my parents in California. When the Japanese finally invaded, I, I joined the Filipino resistance, a group called the Legionnaires. I had her move in with her family in a town just south of Manila. The Legionnaires were known to never stay in one place for too long, so the Japanese could never find us. But they'd get to us by imprisoning our family members and friends until one of us surrendered. Then they'd get names from him. I was, I was afraid for my wife, so I finally convinced her to leave. They found her before she could. There was nothing I could do. It was just weeks later that the Allied forces pushed the Japanese out. So why are you here in Europe? Why aren't you out in the Pacific somewhere fighting the Japs? When I finally left the Philippines, I asked to be sent back there. But they sent me here instead. Why? Their official answer was because they required my special abilities elsewhere. But I know the real reason. What's the real reason? It's because I'm Asian. Why else? Maybe, maybe it was because they thought I'd caused too much confusion fighting an enemy that resembled me. Maybe they thought I would come across too much prejudice there. All I know is I look a lot less Japanese and a lot of you guys look German. Yeah. I guess so. Well, anyways. No, we're, we're leaving in about an hour. You better get some sleep. Sure thing, Cap. Der Weltgrenze ist ein Feldweg, der nördlich nach Montpessat führt. <coughs> On the edge of the woods is a dirt road that heads north to Montpessat. 35th must be close. We're almost there. Hold can see me? Yeah. What's the story, Captain? Looks like the 35th is caught up at Via de Berg. We should go see what's going on. See if we can help any. How many morphine cerettes do you have? I don't have any. case. Thanks. Come on, you two. We're moving out.
south, they should be our boys. Let's hope so. Forty-two. See it there, Rosie? Come on, boys. We're gonna take it out. Got gotcha. I'll get you out of here, buddy. Don't worry about a thing. Stick with me, buddy. You're gonna be alright. Don't move! I can't feel my legs. I gotta get the doctor! I can't leave you here!
35th boys have driven him back. We never made it to that 42. I gotta get you to a medic. Medic! Rosie, I needed to do something for me. Anything, Captain. Oh. Make sure, make sure this gets to my son. Yes, sir. Captain. Never got a chance to thank you for what you did yesterday. But I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. This morning I witnessed what terrible things people can do to their fellow man. I saw men kill because they are consumed by hatred for those who are different from themselves. I've seen so much hatred in the past few years. A disgust for people who are different in race or religion. I'm grateful though that I can fight in this war. I can help fight against this hate. I can only pray that maybe my being here will help end the hate that some have for me and others once they see me as a man. Perhaps one day, even if only one man,